my name's Abby and welcome to The Horror Mission. In case you haven't seen my introduction video on my channel, I started this series because of the whole COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. I lost my job. I work in the music industry, worked in the music industry. So I literally have nothing better to do than watch all of the horror films on Netflix and tell you all about them. That's my thing now. In this video, I'm gonna review Quarantine. Obviously a super popular one at the moment. My overall score for this film, two out of 10. Scary, four out of 10. Cringy, a six out of 10. Believability, a six out of 10. Stress level, an eight out of 10, but not as you would necessarily think. Gory, 6.5, better than a six, not quite deserving of a seven. Satisfaction, so not how satisfied I was with the film as a whole, but how satisfied I felt after the film, zero. Acting, a six out of 10. Soundtrack, zero, because there wasn't one. Cinematography, a five out of 10. Casting, seven, seven out of 10. Jump scare factor, a six, but predictable. A predictable six. Tension factor, a three, maybe, maybe more, maybe four. So there aren't any straight up sex scenes, but there are sexy references. So the fear for this film is mostly situational, but the source of the fear is gore, with a side of danger, like grave danger. Extra warnings, there's a graphic bit where he stamps on a rat, so if you love rats, um, you might cry. Another extra warning, a dog dies, but it's kind of a necessary evil in this film, so it's not like an innocent dog death, as it were. It's kind of part of the film, you don't get emotional about it or anything. Extra, extra warning, claustrophobia. This film is really dark, um, so watch it at night or close all your curtains first. I'm now going to talk about spoilers, so if you haven't seen the film yet and you want to see the film and I haven't kind of ruined it by my ratings, um, then look away now, turn it off, go watch the film and come back. So the best bit for me in this film, Mrs Espinosa. Just cool. The perfect sort of, uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah. The worst bit for me in this film, was just the whole end scene in the basement. There was just, just the incessant screaming and whimpering from Angela, which just kind of pissed me off. She just deserves to be more badass than just reduced to a quivering wreck at the end of the film. I don't know, it just, it just didn't add anything to it. It didn't increase the tension. It didn't make us feel anything like for her, it didn't make us feel sorry for her, it didn't make us feel scared, it was just kind of like <laughs> like nothingy and yeah I just didn't enjoy that whole part of the film. That's why I rated it quite high for like stress level and zero for satisfaction because that whole bit was at the end of the film. The badass award for this film goes to the cameraman, can't remember his name, is it Scott or something? I don't know. The cameraman for literally killing an, effect, an infected person with his camera lens. So for me, the bit that the film went too far, the fact that at the start of the film, if someone is infected, they're kind of like, they're ill. They're just ill and they want to bite people, okay? But then towards the end of the film, when someone's infected, they start sounding like squealing zombie pigs or something. You don't get that throughout the whole of the first half. It's just at the end when more people are infected, they kind of make this horrific sound, which is just completely just random. It, it doesn't, for me, it just doesn't add anything to it. I guess if you're scared of zombies or something, then it would. But for me, it just, uh, just annoyed me. It also annoyed me when, again, towards the end of the film, because it's like a point of view camera film, every time they were in danger or fighting, the light on the camera would flicker on and off. But when they were just walking around, the light on the camera was fine, which makes no sense because when there was action, it's like that. Yeah, it just really annoyed me because especially after I'd noticed it, it just... Uh. I spent more time feeling annoyed while watching this film than I felt scared. Although, not gonna lie, I did feel scared in parts. Um, and I, you know, I, I would recommend watching it. Um, but 
it's uh, yeah it's just not my cup of tea and I think because I noticed everything because I knew I was going to do this video and I was like looking for stuff I just it ruined it for me it just ruined it so I've probably just ruined the film for you as well I'm really sorry I did go back and try and find a scene that would work as a short film but I I couldn't find one if you're going to watch a film watch the whole thing because it makes sense as like a whole there isn't like a small section I don't think so those are my thoughts on quarantine, let me know yours in the comments, um, subscribe, like, all that stuff, um, thanks for having me, I'm Abby and that was quarantine.